Kid Cosmic Season 2 just dropped on Netflix. Now, if you don't know what Kid Cosmic is, this is a series created by Craig McCracken. If you don't know who Craig McCracken is, um, he created a little show uh, called The Powerpuff Girls. That's the, that's the original series, not the reboot. He also created Foster's Homes for Imaginary Friends, a little underrated show that used to air on Disney um, called Wander Over Yonder. So this guy has a very good rap uh, when it comes to creating TV shows, and he created this show. Um, and it's on Netflix, and it's on its second season now, which I just finished watching. Uh, season three comes out uh, next year, or some t later this year, next year, somewhere in there, and is going to be the last season, which we heard, which uh, was kind of unfortunate, but it seems like, to me, that seems like this must have been like the plan from the very beginning. Netflix probably only green writ three seasons, but they didn't announce that. Uh, they were only making three seasons until they saw maybe the show wasn't doing as well as they maybe thought it would. So maybe they just were like, hey, we could make a season four, but only if the show does well. And I don't think it is. Because this show's really cool and a fun show, but I think that a lot of people who aren't animation nerds are not going to watch a show like this. It's not really a show that I think kids would get that engaged with either. Um, it's not that it's boring for kids. I think kids can watch it, and I guarantee there are some kids who will love stuff like that, especially younger children who love, like, comics and stuff, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, but, you know, this is not, um, one of the, uh, you know, easier-to-watch things on Netflix. I don't think it's, I think it's kind of underrated, but we have season two, which I watched the trailer for a while back ago, and I thought, wow, this season looked incredible. I thought this was going to be one of the best seasons of the show um so far i mean but i didn't like this season as much as season one i think this problem with this season is a couple things first of all it throws you into events that happened off screen and, and it does this quite a few times that i think were very irritating I, and like why didn't we see this event take place why wasn't this an episode before this episode happened and if it was, I don't remember it very well, so... And they very quickly, like, brush past it, which is, like, slow down a little bit. And that, that's another thing about the show. I really liked the fast pace in season one because it was setting up all of our characters, but it was doing it in a very quick manner so we could get to the story. But in this, it felt like all the character drama just moves past so quick. There isn't a lot to be engaged with because it's always moving so fast. It doesn't ever slow down and take the time to really fl flesh out these characters. And I think another problem with this series is there's too many random characters, random recurring villains, random side characters. We have a huge log cast of characters and it felt like in the first season we all got interesting setups and developments for all those characters. I felt like in this season we didn't really get that as much. I'm sure certain characters do get a really good spotlight you know specifically um joan she gets like a lot to do in this season uh but you know it's not a terrible watch it's still really fun if you, you know it has a lot of the great animation i love from the last season great action it has a really cool story and it, it goes a lot of interesting directions that i won't spoil and i think if you want to watch the season it's pretty good i just don't think it had a a good of a balance as well as season one did but uh, We'll have to wait and see where season three goes when that comes out. <laughs>